Hey everyone, Sammy Gooden here. Thank you so much to Sprout for sending me over the Thai pumpkin soup recipe today. I'll be following along with the video behind me and we're good to go. Hi guys, Emily here. I'm going to show you how to make Thai pumpkin soup. All right, to start off, we'll be chopping up the pumpkin. So last night I met up with uh, Hannah for dinner. She cooked me a lovely, a lovely um, sausage, rissole and steak dinner with a beautiful salad. Uh, me and Hannah have known each other for quite a while now. She uh, was in the Aussie program with me back in under 19s and under 21s. And we also, in state tournaments, we play against each other, me for Victoria and Han for um, South Australia. And then in under 21 Aussie program, that's where Sash and I met as well. So we've known each other for quite a while now. So it's great to be in South Australia, catching up with those girls too. Sorry, I'm crying, the onions have gotten to me. Um, back home in Melbourne, I come from a big family, so I'm one of seven. And so when I cook at home, I'm normally cooking for a lot of people. So when I come back here, uh, I forget that I'm just cooking for myself and make huge meals. But it's good though, because I end up cooking less as I just freeze my meals and go back to them later. So I'm meal prepping without planning to, which is good. So now it's time to cook the pumpkin, so I'm just gonna put it in the pot now. So now that the pumpkin's cooked for about four to five minutes, I've just added an onion and we'll give it a stir. So now I'm just chopping up the chilli. I'm quite a fan of chilli and spices, so I'm gonna add some in the mix as well and also sprinkle some on top when I'm finished. So now that the onion's been cooking for about four to five minutes, I'm gonna add in my coriander, ginger and garlic. I'm also just gonna top it off with some chilies, just to add that spice. So now it's time to add in the vegetable stuff. So during the break, I went home back to Melbourne and I've just returned uh, from Victoria and this is my second day out of quarantine. So it's great to be socialising with people again. Um, so 14 days in my little apartment. I kept myself busy with my exercise bike out on the balcony, some little weights there. I was reading, Netflixing, sleeping, having a great time by myself. Very lonely, but I managed to survive, so that's a good thing. And today's an exciting day because it's my first day training with the girls again. So I'm heading into the gym at 4 p.m. I haven't seen them for about two months now, so it'll be great to reunite and get cracking into training. So now I'm just blending up the pumpkin soup. We're almost done now, which is exciting. It smells delicious. This is actually my first time cooking pumpkin soup. Normally I'm pretty traditional with my stir fries and spaghetti bolognese, but this is exciting, taking me out of my comfort zone. It's actually a lot, a lot easier than what I thought it was. So according to this, you're supposed to be using a blender here, but me and my basic kitchen appliances, I do not have one. So a potato masher will do for now. So now I'm just going to be stirring the coconut milk to finish it off. So this is how it's looking at the moment. Just going to now add in a pinch of salt. And of course, soup isn't complete without having some slices of bread with it. So while we wait for the bread to toast, I'm going to scoop in some soup. Now I'm going to sprinkle on some coriander leaves. And to top it off, add some chilli. All right, so our Thai pumpkin soup is all done. Now for the final taste test. Mm. Thank you so much to Sprout for sending me over this delicious meal to indulge in. And thank you guys for coming into my kitchen and joining me today. Enjoy your day.